Hey guys, so this video is about comprehension-led versus speech-led language learning. So back when I was taking a class in language acquisition, and this was a course mostly geared toward field linguists, folks that are going to go out and learn unwritten languages, but I think the rules actually still apply co uh, quite broadly across the board. And one of the things that it seemed was that there were almost like two kinds of people. So you've got your comprehension-led people, and then you've got your more speech-led people. And the idea was that you've got some people that just take in information, right? They just, they, they, they read magazines, they read books, they listen to podcasts, they watch videos, and they're bringing in as much information as they can in these foreign languages, but maybe they're shy or a little bit reticent, and they aren't, say, speaking as much. They aren't really using speech. Uh, their, their, their speaking skills as much. Then there are more speech-led type people. These are people that speak from day one. They are soon on the first day of class, they're opening up their phrase books, they are using the phrases with the teacher, they're learning the most important words that you need to use, and everything for them boils down to speaking. How this, this ends up dividing up is that it's sort of a game of time versus immediate gratification. So with the more comprehension-led people, they take in tons and tons of information, but they are not speaking the foreign language or gaining any sort of speaking fluency in the foreign language quickly by any means. It takes them a really long time even to be able to say hold a basic conversation that flows at the normal speed of normal conversations. Um, and so what they end up doing is just consuming tons and tons of information in those foreign languages, learning as much as they can, sharpening their listening skills. They may actually understand just about everything that's said to them, but when it comes to maybe responding or telling their own story or explaining things, they just seem to halt. The benefit of a more comprehension-led approach to language apparently is that when they do start speaking, it is almost perfect. So it may take them, say, years to really crack open speaking at a normal pace, but when they're speaking, their grammar is pretty much spot on, they know all of the important expressions, and they can speak really, really well. Uh, however, some people can't wait two years or three years just to be able to have a conversation at a normal speed. So I think a lot of people end up losing motivation in language learning if they have to wait that long. And I also think that a lot of people aren't aiming for perfect language skills. Uh, there's tons of polyglots that have talked about this. Like their whole reason for learning languages is to make friends, to go out, and perfect language skills aren't required for that. So those people probably, the, the, the comprehension-led approach is probably not the best approach for. However, if you say are wanting to become a translator, an interpreter, a diplomat, someone who is using a language at this super high level, making sure that you're consuming a ton of information uh, in those foreign languages, a ton of content in those foreign languages to be able to perfect the expressions, to be able to perfect the nuances of the language might be a better approach. So I think that, you know, it's just one of those sort of give and take kind of situations. So the other approach is the speech-led approach. And I find that most people end up not having the opportunity to really take this approach. When we're in school, we're kind of pushed to particularly in middle school or high school, that sort of thing, we're probably pushed more toward the comprehension-led approach, right? You're reading, you're writing, and in many good classes even, the speaking just isn't as emphasized, right? Uh, because even on our assessments, so even the major exams that are out there, speaking actually tends to be a smaller part than the reading and writing and all those other aspects of language learning. So what about speech-led? So how do you incorporate more of a speech-led approach? Well, those people, again, are speaking from day one. They're using as much language. Any kind of conversation they can possibly have on any topic, they find ways to really get themselves out there and speaking all the time. 
um, if they study, say, grammar, um, they study that grammar and they immediately go out and find avenues for using that grammar. If they study a topic like covering cuisine, they immediately learn all those food items, all of those, how to order things, how to get things from the appropriate areas, and they immediately go out to a restaurant, to a deli, to a store, and start using those things. Well, I think that that's an important approach to language learning because it is exhilarating. And that is one of the things, at least when I was a foreign language teacher, I tried to, obviously, language classes are more conducive to the comprehension-led approach, but having a lot of the speech-led, I found, made my students in particular super motivated to continue with language learning. The downside, of course, is that you're using whatever language you have at any given point, right? And that can be very, very, very rough in the beginning. And there's always the risk that certain grammatical structures that you found yourself using that weren't quite right could, the term is used, fossilize, and you could get stuck speaking like that. So you could get stuck using certain bad patterns of grammar, um, even though you're speaking at a normal rate, even though you're having these deep conversations. And so that's kind of one of the, the threats of a more speech-led approach. The benefits, though, abound. And so I think one of the things that any language learner is going to have to decide is, based on their personality type, based on their goals, which approach is more you? Um, a lot of linguists particularly emphasize the more comprehension-led because if you're looking to gain sort of that flawless language skill uh, that we all sort of imagine ourselves speaking, right? You imagine yourself in a cafe in Berlin speaking flawlessly perfect German, right? If you want to be that person, then speech-led might be the way to go. I find that you generally do need to mix mix it up anyway, whether you're more of a speech-led person or a comprehension-led person, you need to mix and match because honestly you need all of the language skills in order to be successful. It's not useful to be able to sit up and talk to someone and then not be able to say rattle off about yourself but not be able to actually understand any responses or any questions they have for you, right? So. It's one of the things that even for the speech-led, right, you need to make sure that you're getting tons and tons of listening practice in as well as, as speaking practice. If you're comprehension-led, making sure that every now and then you go out and try those language skills outside of just, say, sitting in front of your books or sitting in front of your computer, that you are talking to someone and interacting with someone in a living language. But keep in mind, it's okay to be in either camp, and it is okay to follow those paths. Just obviously one wants to make sure that they know what they're in for so that they can get the most out of their language learning time and practice. So again, this video has been about comprehension-led learning versus speech-led learning. I hope that it has been useful, and it, these are useful conceptual categories to help guide your language learning. Get out of here, go take down some tongues.